Hey everybody, Commissioner Roger Goodell just about, oh what, uh, 10 minutes ago, completed a press conference from Atlanta where he discussed the current state of negotiations between the National Football League owners and the NFL players. Right now, the NFL's collective bargaining agreement is set to expire in March. Now, for those of you wondering what a collective bargaining agreement is, it's simply a document that governs how players are paid. It sets up everything from in the NFL salary cap to free agents and franchise tags, the whole nine yards. It is a labor contract. Here is the basic problem. Aside from the fact that the CBA, as it's called, is about to expire, well, look, NFL revenues are down considerably for the second consecutive year and you have NFL owners looking around and saying, well, we've cut costs here, stadium operations are here or here, and we've been forced to lower ticket prices in some cases, like the Buccaneers very recently. Where else are we going to cut costs? The largest operating cost of any football team, in fact, any sports organization, is labor, and that's players. The NFL situation right now is such that the players don't want to take a pay cut. And there's an even bigger problem where of the top 10 salaries over the past, I believe, five years, five of them were in the possession of rookie NFL players. So the NFL, for a long time, going back to, wow, 2007, has discussed in installing something like a rookie salary cap. But that conversation didn't really heat up until the 2009 NFL draft uh, when Michael Crabtree came out from Texas Tech and went to the 49ers, and the first round pick was Matt Stafford of the Detroit Lions. In fact, Matt was peppered with questions about rookie salary companies. Well, I don't know. I just, I just got here. I'm just a kid. But where we are right now is the commissioner today has said that they are having meetings, but he wants to make sure they have quality meetings. And they're basically tossing the ball back to the NFL Players Association. And soon, later this week, we'll have a statement from the NFL Players Association, perhaps, perhaps later today. So that's where we sit. Do I think there's going to be a lockout? No. There's too much to lose, too much money on the table. The NFL had its highest ratings in its history last year. The players benefit from that. I don't think the players want to give that up. And I know the NFL owners don't want to give that up. So stay tuned.